guys. I just wanted to come on tonight and lead us through a just short bedtime stretch. I honestly have no plan. Um, I did not uh, plan anything for this evening. This is just something I thought that we all needed um, at the end of a stressful week, something to wind down together with. So if you are watching this live or later on recorded, thank you for joining me. And I hope this brings you a little bit of relaxation. Um, you can be on your yoga mat, or you could even just be on a soft surface if you're on the carpet in your room with a little blanket down. You could probably do most of this in your bed as well. So go ahead and find a comfy space. And sometimes it's nice to set up your space with some candles. Definitely suggest some peaceful, chill music in the background on one of your devices. Uh, maybe some herbal tea, something that helps you to relax. Surprise, surprise, this is not champagne <laughs> for once. I'm actually drinking some nice warm tea because it's cold here in Florida tonight. Um, so anyway, thank you for joining me and let's get started. Also, just know if anything doesn't feel good during our movements, during our stretches, just skip it. Listen to your body, just do what feels right. I'm just here to guide us through some movement to help us sleep better tonight. So coming to a nice, comfortable, seated position will allow our knees to really fall out to the side. So you might wanna unstack your ankles and you can reach back and grab those hips and move them out of the way so that the knees can really fall out to the side. And if you feel tight, your knees feel really high, you can roll up some blankets or pillows underneath your knees and then just let your body weight hang and relax, really releasing out pelvic area and the hips. And then you can hopefully relax into your space. And you can close your eyes here or you can just softly gaze down towards your toes finding a soft gaze through the eyelashes. And take some shoulder rolls, rolling the shoulders up towards your ears, sliding them down your back. Nice, soothing, big shoulder rolls. And then we're gonna take the shoulder rolls up and forward, and you can even let the elbows fan out to the side a little. You can feel your upper back start to round as you roll your shoulders up towards your ears and forward. Now we'll roll the shoulders up and back again, up and back, up and back. And then we're gonna tint those fingertips right behind us, so kind of lean back onto your fingertips and wind your heart up towards the sky. Lifting your chin away from your chest, take a really big breath in through your nose, out of your mouth. Take a really big breath in through your nose. Stick out your tongue as you exhale. <sighs> now we're gonna do that one more time. This time, see if you can touch the tip of your tongue to your chin. We wanna really release out any tension in our jaw that has accumulated over the day. So breathe in through your nose. Exhale, stick it out. <sighs> Nice, just let it go. And then we'll shrug the shoulders up so they're over the hips. We'll bring our hands to our knees. And we're gonna grab under the knees so that the legs can come out into a wide straddle. And once they're in a wide straddle, we're gonna make some circles with the ankles. You're gonna make sure each of your toes are getting a nice release too, so you can separate your toes nice and wide, wiggle them around. Now we're gonna end up flexing our feet so the toes are kind of drawing towards you. Your heels are pressing away from you. So we're gonna keep the feet just like that and start to fold forward. You might come onto your hands, you might come onto your elbows, you might fold over a pillow or a blanket. Just allow yourself to relax into this forward fold. And once you're here, now we're gonna pay attention to that breath again. So just 
take a minute and notice your breathing. There's nothing right, nothing wrong. Just observing your breath. And if the breath is short or sitting in your chest or sitting in your belly, we want the breath to get bigger. We want the breath to start to expand our whole back body. So as you breathe in, see if you can breathe into your entire back body, feeling your upper back, your mid back, your low back expand and stretch and open up. And as you exhale, just feel your upper body soften and relax down into that fold a little deeper. So we'll take three more rounds of breath here. Inhale, expanding your whole back body. Exhale, relaxing. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, relaxing. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, relaxing. Now on an inhale, just press your hands in front of you and walk the upper body back up. Try to keep your feet still flexed. You can shake them out if you need a little break, but then try to flex them again. And we're gonna walk our hands over towards our left leg. And we're gonna pause for three or four breaths here trying to keep your sit bones glued to your, uh, your mat or your bed or your rug, wherever you are. Try to keep your seat anchored and just really breathe into your right side body now. Taking those three or four deep breaths, using your inhales to expand and your exhales to relax. Your inhales to expand Exhales to relax. Breathing in through the nose and out of the mouth. Now on your next inhale, start to walk your hands back towards your body again, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna fold through center just for one breath to reset the body. And we're gonna walk our hands back up and just on an exhale breath, walk on over to the other leg. So we're still trying to flex the feet as much as possible. And if that left shoulder is really lifting high, see if you can kind of draw the left elbow and left shoulder a little closer down towards the ground. And then start to breathe those three or four breaths, breathing into your left side body. So feeling the ribs expand, feeling that space between the rib cage and the hip bones open up a little more, making room for your breath to move. In through the nose, out of the mouth. In through the nose, out of the mouth. Take one or two more rounds here. And on your next inhale, start to walk your hands back up and wind yourself back forward. And this time we're gonna bring the legs together and you can point and flex the feet a few times, just wiggle out the feet. Now we're gonna grab under the knees, let the knees come out and the soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana. All right, and we're gonna open the palms out like you're giving an offering to someone. And we're gonna let the backs of the hands rest on the ground and just gently fold forward here. Now, if this is too intense, you can bring, again, the blankets under each knee, or you can take the heels a little further away from your body or a little closer to your body. So make sure you're gentle on your knees, and we're gonna take those same three or four long breaths that we've been using in through the nose, out of the mouth, and just let the head relax. Now, if you're someone that deals with compression in your spine or any type of serious back pain, sometimes it's suggested to look forward between the pinky fingers here to keep a longer spine. But if you feel okay just dropping your head as you breathe, go right ahead. The 
goal here is to be able to hear your beautiful breath entering and leaving your body. We don't breathe even a quarter the amount of breath that we are capable of throughout the day. So when we start to get this oxygen flowing through our body the way it's meant to, bring so much health and wellness and sense of bliss back to the body. So on your inhale, start to walk your body back up so your shoulders are over your hips and we'll use our hands to guide our knees together this time. Now we're gonna lean back on our hands and then we're just gonna windshield wiper the knees very gently side to side, giving yourself a nice glute massage, getting into the butt muscles, just releasing any tension that's there. And then I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see me for this next one. We're gonna cross the right ankle over the left thigh, making a figure four with your body. And then leaning back onto your left hand, we're gonna take the, right, the heel of your right hand to the inside of your right thigh and just gently press it forward. Don't press into your kneecap, just gently guide that right knee away from your body by pressing into the inner thigh. So if you sit at a desk a lot or if you drive in the car a lot, this is a nice release. And then we'll release that one, lean back a little to unravel the legs, and we're gonna take the opposite ankle over, so the left ankle over the right thigh, making your figure four on this side. You can kind of sway it a little bit to loosen things up. And then if it feels good to go a little deeper with the stretch, take the heel of your left hand to the inside of your left thigh and just gently guide it away from you. Beautiful, then we're gonna lean back to unravel and you're gonna cross the ankles in front of you coming back to a seated position. Take an inhale and reach the hands up overhead. On an exhale, you're gonna take your right hand down by your side, left arm overhead, and just take a nice side bend. And on an inhale, come back up. Exhale on over to the other side, left hand to the ground, right arm reaches up. And in yoga, we always wanna have our heart nice and open. So wind your heart up towards the ceiling or the sky. Finding that space of self-love, always nice and open. On an inhale, come back up, and we're gonna bring the palms together, the thumbs to the heart. Bringing our hands in front of us, walk the knees back. We're gonna step into a downward facing dog. Now, some of you, if you're in bed practicing this, a full down dog might not be practical. You can stay in a tabletop here, and you can take some cat cows. So we're either in down dog, stretching out the legs, letting the head hang, or we're in a tabletop and just moving the spine. Again, nothing really right or wrong here, just releasing out any stress, any tension from your day. So if you're in that down dog, now let's slowly start to bring the knees down and meet the other goddesses that are in tabletop. So we're all here in this tabletop together. We're going to take the left arm just lift it off the ground and thread it under the right, coming into a thread the needle pose. Bring your left ear to the ground and you're feeling your hips are in the air stacked over your knees. Now, if that's too intense on your shoulders, you can sit on your heels and just stretch your arm in front of you like so. And then you'll start to press into your top hand and come up. We're gonna press the hands down so we round the shoulders just to reset the shoulders. Then allow your belly to come down, creating a flat back. And we'll take the right arm under the left, threading the needle on that side. Or you can just cross the right arm across your body. And once you come to that stretch, notice, do you tense up? Do you hold your breath? Try to revisit those same three or four long, steady breaths. Inhaling to expand, exhaling to relax. And then when you feel that you've done three or four of those, we're gonna bring ourselves back up to our tabletop position. We're just gonna slide the right knee to our right wrist and let our left leg slide back behind us 
coming into a pigeon pose. So in pigeon pose, there's a few variations you can take. If you are wanting to wind down for bed, sometimes it's nice to come into a sleepy pigeon and just stack your forearms and bring your forehead to rest on your forearms. Okay, if you are feeling like the back is tight, you need to open up the spine, maybe you've been sitting a lot today, you can press your hands underneath your shoulders into the mat. Really lift your heart, maybe creating a little bit of a back bend, lifting the heart nice and high. Okay, we haven't done much warming up, but if you want a little more and, and you feel like you're flexible enough to go there right now, you can reach for your back foot and go a little deeper with that stretch. But we're just taking gentle, smaller movements today. Now from here, we're going to roll onto your right hip. So you're gonna roll onto that right hip and open up into, I'll turn around so I'm the same way to face you guys, open up into a wide leg straddle again. We were here earlier. So come back into your wide leg straddle and then you're gonna bring the left heel in now and roll towards that left knee coming into a pigeon pose on this side. So we're just bringing the left knee to the left wrist and the right leg is stretched out behind us this time. And you can come down into your sleepy pigeon with your forehead on your forearms or your hands stacked nicely under the shoulders, finding a bit of a back bend or going a little deeper and reaching for your back foot. Three or four nice long yogi breaths. And we want to feel your belly moving as you breathe. You want to feel your back body rising and lowering as you breathe. You really want to feel your whole body moving with each round of breath. This is an excellent stress reliever. We hold tension in our hips, in our low body. We hold built up emotions, built up feelings, things we haven't expressed that we need to let go of all in this low body. So enjoy releasing out that tightness. And if you find stillness to be difficult, you can move in pigeon pose. You can roll your hips like a rolling pin side to side. You can change variations. You can play with your poses here. All right, we're gonna eventually roll out and we're gonna come back to a wide leg straddle. So we always come back here to reset the hips and the low back and you can kind of shake it all out, wiggle out the ankles, wiggle out the hips, Let's take one gentle forward, fold to release. And on an inhale, slowly come back up. And we'll bring the legs together and we are going to massage those glutes again. So bring the soles of the feet to the mat with bent knees and gently windshield wiper the knees side to side. Okay, for this next one, we're gonna take the legs back out into that straddle. Now I'm gonna start with my left leg. I'm gonna take my left hand under the left knee, bend it, and bring that left heel by my left glute. So my right leg is stretched out long and my right heel has come behind me towards my booty, but the both legs, both knees are anchored on the ground here. Now I'm gonna flex the right foot, bring the right hand to the inside of the right leg with the palm open, and take the left arm overhead. Again, don't force it. Over time, we wanna to try to reach that big toe. We wanna to focus on winding our heart up towards the sky. If you cannot reach the toe, it's totally fine. You can even keep your top elbow bent if you need to modify for your shoulders. But here, getting a nice deep opening for that left side body. We wanna to try to keep the left sit bone anchored to the ground as much as you can. Again, don't hold the breath, breathe into it. You can even wiggle both sets of toes, make sure the feet are relaxed. Enjoy this little compass variation. Now on an inhale, bend your top elbow and then press into that right hand and slowly bring yourself up. We're gonna lean back a little, grab under that knee again, come back to your straddle, take a gentle fold forward. 
always resetting the body before switching sides. Now we're gonna grab under the right knee, bring the right heel by the right glute, and take your left leg out long. Make sure your sit bones are anchored. We'll take the, ins the back of the left hand to the inside of the left leg, and the right arm overhead. Take it all the way over, and just start to breathe into your entire upper body. Again, you can wiggle the toes, try to relax the feet, relax the legs, and the right sit bone is anchored as much as possible. The neck is long, so imagine you're reaching the crown of the head out towards your top fingertips. So keep the spine long, the head lifted. We'll take one more breath here. And to come out, we're gonna press into the left hand. We're gonna bend the top elbow, move nice and slow. That's a deep stretch, so you wanna come out carefully. And we'll lean back to release out the bent leg. Bring our legs back to straddle for one last centering fold. Start to walk your hands back up towards your body. Bring the legs together. We're gonna swing the legs around to tabletop position. We're about to wind down our stretching. So we're gonna tuck the toes under and we're gonna pull the hips back, just like you're going into child's pose, but the toes are tucked, if that's okay. If it's too much with the toes tucked, just let your toenails be flat down on the surface beneath you. We're gonna come into child's pose, but with our forearms stacked to soften the shoulders. And just taking a minute to feel your belly breathing between your thighs. Inhaling to expand. Exhaling to relax. Again, you can be folded over a little pillow or blanket if you'd like. Or just stack the forearms like I am. Breathing deeply, feeling your belly breathe between your thighs. Again, breathing into your entire body. Now we'll take a moment to untuck the toes and take the knees a little wider and bring your heart a little closer down to the ground below or the bed below. And breathe here, bringing the third eye, the heart back down closer to the ground. If this is intense on the shoulders, you can always sweep your hands down by your feet. So your arms kind of drape over your thighs and your fingers rest by your toes. So it's another nice way to soften into your child's pose. We'll be here for three more breaths. Just enjoy some silence for a moment. Just hear your breath. Let's take two more bonus rounds of breath here. Now use your next inhale to bring your hands underneath your shoulders and slowly bring yourself back up. And we're gonna bring the knees closer together, seated with hips on heels. We take a big stretch overhead, bringing the palms together and the thumbs right down to your heart. And we'll take a minute to close the eyes here. You can slowly release your chin down to your chest, feeling that nice release for the back of your neck. And then let's place the palms over the heart, palms stacked one over the other, placing them right over the heart space as we bring a closure to our little evening stretch, sending so much love to yourself. So thank yourself for taking this moment to pause and to reconnect with the best version of you. Take a minute to thank yourself for getting out of bed this morning in the midst of a challenging and difficult world. You chose to get out of bed today and you did the very best that you could. 
So thank yourself for that here in this moment. Let's all also take a moment of gratitude, just thanking each other, thanking all of the women in this group for being a source of encouragement and support and positivity and light, knowing we always have a beautiful, happy place to turn to whenever we need it. Thank you guys for being that to me and to each other. I hope you have a beautiful, peaceful night and I will stick around in the comments and say hello once I turn off this video and climb into bed. Okay, happy weekend everybody and I will see you soon.